Well, we knew it was in the works. Julio Jones wanted out of Atlanta, and we're going to welcome in our Jason Lacanfora shortly to talk more about that. The trade finally happened on Sunday with Jones heading to the Tennessee Titans for a 2022 second round pick and a swap of fourth and sixth round picks in 2023. The Titans will also reportedly pick up Jones' entire contract. And of course, when any star player gets traded, the world takes to Twitter. We have Ryan Tannehill here. He's fired up tweeting, let's go at Julio Jones. But some confusion as well. So Saints defensive end Cam Jordan said, how? Julio Jones only worth a second and a fourth? What? Like, what's going on here? Top corner from the Rams, Jalen Ramsey said, I'm going to have myself a good Sunday, but this is all it took for a generational guy, and we were out of the Julio sweepstakes. Wow, we would have been unstoppable for real with all of those weapons. So definitely a few questions around the league. Let's welcome in our Jason Luck from Fora now. So given the reaction of some of these NFL stars, it seems like in their eyes the Falcons didn't do very well in this deal. What do you think? Well, they, they didn't, but they never were going to based on a lot of factors here. One, the receiver position. Uh, we've seen uh, consecutive drafts that a lot of evaluators think uh, could borderline on generational in terms of the number of receivers it's produced. Uh, remember, the college game's been running four and five wide stuff forever. That's bled over into the NFL. They're producing wide receivers at uh, an alarming rate, and teams are finding success with them, not just in the first round, but through later rounds of the draft. Then it's the fact that it's June. Owners have spent their money. Free agency was months ago. The, the Falcons had to wait this long to do the deal because it's a salary dump um, contingent on them saving the maximum cap space they can. Well, they had to wait till June to do that. But all these receivers have been drafted. The Kenny Galladay's, those guys already got big, you know, their money. And there weren't a lot of owners saying, okay, this guy's going to be 32. He's going to make over $15 million a year. He may want more money after that. He only played nine games last year. He's been on the injury report a lot in recent years, and you want me to do this in June. It, it was never a robust market. It's unfortunate that the reporting on this situation was so askew in a lot of corridors, but the reality was after DeAndre Hopkins went for essentially a two last year, Julio Jones was going to go for essentially a two this year. It was just a matter of where. So if Jones does stay healthy, what does this do for Tennessee? How much better are they with Jones there? Well, I mean, it, it, it could be substantially better. I mean, you look at their offseason to this point, and, and there had been more sort of defections uh, than gains. They hadn't even really been able to hold serve at the receiver position or at the tight end position. And then you have to worry about Derrick Henry, that workload, the way he plays. At some point, that will catch up to them, and he won't be the same running back. History tells us that. They needed another element they could count on in that deep passing game, when Tannehill pump fakes, when Tannehill goes play action, um, you, you needed to have somebody else to worry about other than AJ. Well, they've got that now. I still think on defense, there's gonna be uh, some issues there. And I do think losing Arthur Smith, their play caller will hurt them some. Uh, but this to me in that weak division, now I look at the Titans a little bit more formidably as a playoff team than I did before they consummated this trade. What is this? do for a guy like Tannenhill? Well, it, it, I think it's essential that he, he had another proven weapon in the past game. Um, this is a team that, you know, when it was humming along at its best, you get John U. Smith, you've got uh, AJ, you, you had Corey Davis as that sort of uh, Robin to the AJ's Batman, and you had, you know, one of the most dominant run games in the league. Now, again, I'm not sure that the run game is going to be as robust and i do have some issues about the offensive line but yeah Tannehill, they needed to put it out uh, 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 be able to put personal groups out there where you have to worry about shading the the defense completely to one side or the other and they've done that now um the key obviously will be keeping julio uh, healthy from here on out Health matters, that's for sure. JLC, thank you so much for joining us. If you're looking for your more fix of NFL news and all your daily analysis, you got to look no further than CBS Sports Pick 6 podcast. It gets you up to speed each day with what's trending in the NFL, so you are always in the know. See what all of our fellows think about this Julio Jones trade on the Pick 6. you got to tune in today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.